Warships play a crucial role in a Navy's surface fleet, displaying diverse forms and sizes tailored to their specific capabilities and functions. Among the prevalent vessels in a Navy's arsenal are frigates and destroyers, both engineered for swift maneuvering and adept at escorting and safeguarding larger vehicles from potential threats in the air, on the surface, and underwater. The overlapping characteristics of frigates and destroyers have even prompted some European navies to use these terms interchangeably. Frigates are widely prevalent across numerous navies globally, forming a significant component of their fleets, whereas destroyers are possessed by only 13 nations worldwide, as per the Global Firepower Index 2023. This raises the question, what are the notable distinctions between frigates and destroyers? Among the 55 nations that possess frigate ships, China stands out as the global leader with a fleet of 52 frigates spanning three different classes. Surprisingly, Taiwan follows closely with 24 frigates, trailed by the United States with 22 vessels. In contrast, destroyers are far less prevalent, with only a few navies having such warships. The United States Navy boasts the largest destroyer fleet, currently operating 68 vessels, while Japan ranks second with 37 destroyers, and China holds the third position with 33 vessels. Notably, some countries like Spain and Germany officially do not have destroyers, although many of their frigate ships closely resemble vessels classified as destroyers by other nations. Destroyer warships vary in size, ranging from smaller vessels like the Royal Navy's Type 45 Daring class and Russia's Project 956 Sovermeni class, which measure approximately 150 meters in length and have a beam of around 17 to 18 meters. On the other end of the spectrum is the colossal U.S. Navy's Zumwalt-class destroyer, measuring 190 meters in length and boasting a beam of 24.6 meters. The Zumwalt-class is significantly heavier, weighing nearly 16,000 tons, which is twice the weight of smaller destroyers that typically weigh around 8,000 tons at full load. While frigates come in various sizes, many top frigates like Russia's Admiral Gorshkov class and Germany's Saxon class are smaller compared to destroyers, typically measuring between 130 to 150 meters in length, and they share a similar width with destroyer vessel. According to Dr. Siddharth Castle, a research fellow at the Royal United Services Institute for Defense and Security Studies, the primary distinction between frigates and destroyers lies in their size and consequent function. Due to their larger size, destroyers have the capability to accommodate and generate power for more advanced high-resolution radar systems and a greater number of vertical launch cells. As a result, they are better equipped to provide theater-wide air and missile defense, often operating within carrier battle groups. Frigates, on the other hand, are typically utilized as escort vessels to safeguard sea lines of communication or as supplementary elements within a strike group. Meanwhile, destroyers are commonly integrated into carrier battle groups to fulfill air defense roles or employed for territorial air and missile defense purposes. In general, frigates are slower compared to destroyers, although in modern times the difference is not significant. Among the faster frigate ships is the Shivalik class of the Indian Navy, capable of reaching speeds of up to 32 knots, while others typically range between 26 and 30 knots. Despite its large size, the Zumwalt class destroyer can reach speeds of up to 30 knots, which is slightly slower than the smaller Silvermeni, and daring classes, averaging 32 knots. However, it remains comparable, if not faster, than most frigate classes. Modern destroyer vessels typically max out at around 33 knots, with the fastest recorded being the French Navy's Le Terrible, reaching 45.1 knots, 83.5 kilometers per hour, during sea trials in 1935. Both frigates and destroyers are equipped with cutting-edge weaponry and defense systems, essential for their roles in escorting and protecting. Some frigates, exemplified by the Royal Navy's Duke class, specialize in anti-submarine warfare and are outfitted with advanced sonar gear and torpedoes. These anti-submarine warfare-oriented frigates feature helipads and hangars for helicopters capable of detecting and engaging nuclear submarines with torpedoes and depth charges. 
For instance, the Duke class is armed with twin Stingray torpedo tubes and can carry a Westland Lynx helicopter armed with two torpedoes or a Westland Merlin with four torpedoes. While frigates provide limited air defense for themselves and nearby vessels, they are primarily utilized for anti-submarine warfare and short-range air defense within larger surface group. Conversely, certain destroyers have been specifically modified to launch anti-ship and anti-aircraft guided missiles. Examples include the U.S. Navy's Zumwalt and Arleigh Burke classes, the Royal Navy's Daring class, and Russia's Sovermeni class. The Daring class is equipped with the Sea Viper Comprehensive Defense System, enabling the Royal Navy to track targets up to 400 kilometers away using a Samson Active electronically scanned array and a 48-cell silver vertical launching system housing Aster-15 and Aster-30 surface-to-air missiles. The Zumwalt class destroyer boasts 20 MK-57 vertical launching system modules with 80 launch cells capable of launching evolved Sea Sparrow missiles and tactical Tomahawk subsonic cruise missiles. It proves to be a challenging task to determine the exact unit prices for certain categories of ships, not to mention specific types of ships. Nevertheless, here are some approximations regarding the most expensive vessels. The title for the world's most expensive destroyer belongs to the U.S. Navy's Zumwalt class. The initial model, the DDG-1000, carried a price tag of approximately $4.2 billion, as reported by Naval Institute News. This figure comprises 3.8 billion baromards for non-recurring engineering expenses and an additional 400 million for post-delivery and outfitting. The subsequent tour ships under production are anticipated to have lower costs, estimated at 2.8 billion and 24 billion respectively. This stands in stark contrast to the Royal Navy's Daring class destroyers, which are represented at slightly over a win billion pounds, 136 billion. Conversely, frigate ships offer a more cost-effective option. The Royal Navy's Duca class was valued at approximately $130 million per vessel, while the highly anticipated Type 31 frigate was projected in 2017 to have a cost of around $250 million per unit according to a UK government fact sheet. 